Hello, my name is Fanny Hansen and I am the Executive Director of Oncology here at Providence St. Jude Medical Center and specifically the Crossing Cancer Institute in Fullerton, California. We are a comprehensive cancer program committed to quality and excellence in all things cancer. We are so excited to introduce histotripsy here at Providence St. Jude Medical Center. Histotripsy is really this evolutionary technology that's going to allow us to change the paradigm for treating patients with different kinds of liver tumors. It is a completely non-invasive technique to treat liver tumors and that is something that's really brand new for the treatment of these types of tumors and so we're extremely excited about being able to offer that to our patients here at St. Jude. The primary benefit is that this is a completely non-invasive technique which really lowers the number of complications and increases the tolerability for patients. The technique is extremely precise so we really have the ability to just target the liver tumor and preserve all the surrounding liver tissue. In addition, there's no issues with damaging any structures that are in the pathway to that tumor. Patients will initially have a consultation with one of the interventional radiologists who is performing the procedure here, and we'll go over kind of the, the benefits of the procedure and we'll really be evaluating if a patient's a good candidate. We'll then be ordering a screening ultrasound examination, and that will really be our final determination if we think a patient might be a candidate for the procedure. This is a completely outpatient procedure, although it is going to be done under general anesthesia. So the day of the procedure, a patient will come and check in. For the actual procedure, there is a small water bath that's actually placed on top of the patient. So, and this just places some mild pressure on them. And actually the technology is really so revolutionary that they actually have pressure sensors that determine and make sure there's the appropriate amount of pressure and we're not putting too much pressure on the patient during this whole process. And then we use the ultrasound while they're out under general anesthesia, again, lining everything up. We guide a robotic arm that has an ultrasound probe embedded within that robotic arm and we identify that same spot in the liver the machine then allows us to make very specific measurements of the lesion and contour the exact dimension of our treatment area. And that is what really allows us to precisely treat just the liver tumor and get an appropriate margin, essentially giving us a, a equivalent to a surgical margin without any of the incisions or other complications that can occur related to surgery. The really revolutionary thing about the machine that allows us to do this totally non-invasive is that the treatment head, which is what we're guiding in with the robotic arm through that water bath, it uses focused ultrasound waves. So the focused ultrasound waves come from all different sides of this treatment head and then they congregate onto that one spot that we identify that we want to treat. So that targeted focused ultrasound wave actually creates tiny bubbles and these tiny bubbles are what actually cause rupture of the cells. It essentially liquefies the tumor. And then I think it's a common question that I've been asked by patients is, well, what happens to that liquefied tumor? Your body will actually slowly kind of debride and eat away those cells over time. And so it'll just leave a little cavity there that will then slowly kind of regress and heal. So the liver will heal that little cavity. And so it really is a just amazing technology that it's allowing us to do this. And then when you can actually see that happening real time and see that you're destroying this tumor without having to so much as stick even a tiny needle into the patient, that really is kind of mind blowing compared to technologies that we've had previously. So currently this treatment is FDA approved for use in the liver, but the company that developed the system is really looking at a lot of different avenues where else in the body we can use this to treat other types of tumors. And there are multiple clinical trials that are uh, ongoing right now, and we are going to be joining as a part of those trials here at St. Jude, and we're very excited about that opportunity. Anyone with a potential tumor in their liver 
that they're concerned about, they should come have a consultation with an interventional radiologist who's performing hysterotripsy, and they would really be able to give them the best assessment if it's a lesion that's amenable. Patients don't have to be off of a lot of their other types of medications that you might have to hold for surgery. They don't necessarily have to be off their chemotherapy if they're on chemotherapy. Um, and those are really game-changing things that we don't have that option for a lot of other available treatments. Not every patient with a liver tumor is gonna be a candidate for this, but really the only one is gonna probably be able to evaluate that is an interventional radiologist who has experience in this. And so I just recommend patients, if they feel that they even, you know, are just interested in learning more information about it, reach out and, you know, we can provide that expertise and that's what we're here for.